What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Panini Absolute Football just sold out. This is a six-box half-case break. Pick a team number four. And here we go. Second half. Steven Flack got last ball mojo tight. So we didn't see a glass short print in the first half or a kaboom or explosive. So we're expecting at least one. Well, that's been the most consistent. At least one of those in the case. But more consistently, glass. The one thing customers have been saying is that Kaboom or explosives are not always common in the case. So, hopefully, guys, we can not be part of that statistic again. Because the first two bigger teams obviously didn't have any. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people don't realize that the Pac-12 championship is always on a Friday. Which I think sucks, honestly. Most of the time, the teams are playing on a shorter week. And, like, Friday... Come on, man. Keep it Saturday. Football's all about Saturday. Yes, they introduced it for football this year, actually, for the first time. But it was only exclusively to basketball for a long time. Cordero Patterson. Got two base there. Vilas Jones. To 49. The Lewis sign that is uh, Vikings Garrett you got Tyler Lockett absolutely heroes Jalen Hurts 5 out of 49 Flag goes like Chris with my Eagles. And then TJ Hawkinson, Detroit Lions. Still, of course, a lion there was traded at the deadline, so. You'll probably most likely see him in Lions uniform the rest of the year. Alright, I think we might have. No. By Storm, though, we got a uh, out of 50, Garrett Wilson. Big boy Jordan Davis. He should be back this week, hopefully. And a quad relic rig of premieres to 199. That is Traylon Burks. First round receiver, if I'm correct. Tennessee Titans, last spot mojo. Steven Flat. We got Canada's Walker to 50. Trubisky, Jamar Chase. Tyquan Thornton. I feel like with this product, we see a lot of repeats. And I swear to God, this is like our third Sky Moore in this whole case. We've seen like two Sky Moore patch autographs in the first half. This is going to be just an autograph, but still. Sky Moore. Chiefs, David. I mean, Chief. Chiefs owners are happy though. Alright, I think we got the glass insert here. Last call for Sharp Perriman. Yep, we got the glass. Trent McDuffie with a Christian Watson. That's to 99. It's Green Bay Packers. Gary with that one. Save that here at the end of this. Yeah. 
Devontae Adams. Can absolute Aaron Donald. That's number to 20. Or actually number to 49. And a little CJ2K. That I don't know. I want to say these are made ready to roll though, Justin. It's just that it's such a heavy card. I don't know if you ever like felt a glass insert, but it's so heavy that you would be able to tell right away which box has it. So that's probably why, and I think the main reason they don't put it in products. All right, here we go, guys. Glass, 18. Wow, Justin Herbert. Daniel, you wanted the Herbert, right? Glass, there you go, LAC. There you go. Halfway through now. Draft Diamonds, DK Metcalf. Kennedy Brooks. And very nice break for the Titans. Malik Willis to 99. Tennessee Titans, Steven Flat, last ball mojo. Nice, did it really? That's awesome. No Kobe Dean. T. Higgins. You know, if Utah gets just a little bit short of the sticks, I think they go for it on fourth down here, right? Kind of too far for a kick, too close for a punt. Christian Kirk for the Jaguars, 10 out of 15. Jacksonville Jaguars, that's Sean Maddock. So kind of two down territory. Oh, he got it. Time out, time out, time out. Well, actually, I guess the clock stops in, in college. Whoa. How about a one on one printing play for the Seahawks? That's a boy. Uno of Uno. Seattle Seahawks with that one. Oh, yeah. If you're streaming it, Justin, I actually have DirecTV. So that's how I am, though, when I'm watching an NFL Sunday ticket at home or anything at home because I have YouTube TV I stream. I don't have cable or satellite TV. So I'm always behind like a minute. And then 400 points. So I have to give that out to one customer. All right, halfway through, guys. But we did get the glass insert, so it makes me feel a little bit better. But let's get a Kaboom or Explosive going now, though. Yeah, no, usually it's like a 30 seconds to a minute on YouTube TV. So when I'm watching at home, I turn off all my alerts. When I associate the game that I want to see, I turn on my fantasy alerts because I just don't want to get spoiled. Oh, he 
silver through him. What the hell, dude? Nearly. Nearly. And a little stargazing. That's Cooper Cup to 10. Going to Aaron. Works. We got Brian Robinson Jr. Washington going to Patrick. Drake London Okay, well he's basically has a first down right there So even if that's holding It should be like second and short, third and short, right? Three color patches there James Cook and Josh Allen at 49 Yeah, second and nine Not that bad, I guess And Javante Williams. Nice. First down. Timeout, though. No, maybe not. Timeout. Clock it, clock it, clock it. Christian Harris. Nice two color patches there of Aiden Hutchinson and Jim Jameson Williams. And we have a Brian Cook to 50. <laughs> Those guys are all wearing wigs. Like for Cameron Rising, that's funny. Oh my god. USC versus tight ends this season are like 126th rank nationally on yards, touchdowns, and receptions. And that just makes me believe that they do not have good linebackers. Or potentially DBs. Safeties. Strong safety. Come on, Utah. Get a TD here before halftime. There you go. Touchdown. Sorry, Justin. <laughs> oh, I don't like them either. I mean, I'm an Oregon Ducks fan. I, I just feel bad for you guys because DTR had to throw like three to four interceptions for you guys to barely lose. Ooh, how about this? Two glass inserts on this half. Well, that's not that bad then, right? Alec Pierce. To 99. Oh, they didn't count that other touchdown? Kenneth Walker.
And a mod sauce garner. We have a uh, Alante Taylor. Nice pass there for uh, Jordan Brooks. And Taekwon Thornton. All right, let's take a look here. Two glass inserts on this case, so that's not too terrible. What the hell is happening here? Oh my god. That could have been very... <laughs> oh my god, you're going to see this right now, Justin? Whoa. That was... Jesus. Luckily, <laughs> there was no time left, man. I got hopped on that. Dak Prescott. Ed with the Cowboys. You're three plays behind? No way, dude. I would just let me know when you get to the kickoff, okay? Can we pull a Kaboom or explo Explosive here and just make it up? But we did get two glass inserts, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy we got two glass. I mean, it's better than just the same case as last time, but. If we can get, like, an Explosive or Kaboom here, I'd be very happy. Like, I kind of miss when they were just so easy to pull. <laughs> it's so exciting. But... DJ Watt last call. Carson Strong. And Redemption. Premier Materials Autos 5, number 205, Sam Howell. That is for Washington, going to Patrick. Deontay Johnson. Mac Jones, Bailey Zappi. Mac Jones has a quad patch. Uh, it's Patriots and uh, Sean Maddock. With a Micah Parsons. Look at that. Like I said, I, I love this dude. I actually really wanted the Eagles to draft him, but, you know... I'm okay with their draft pick, um, you know, but I, I don't know. I feel like he secretly loves the Eagles, you know. He went to Penn State, grew up in, uh, in Pennsylvania. But great player there, though, 8 out of 10, Micah Parsons. It's funny, him and Slay on Twitter go, like, always talk and chat. He's a Phillies fan. He goes to, like, Sixer games. It's like, 
<laughs> Just makes me believe I know secretly he probably hates the Eagles that they didn't draft him, but obviously they had to do what they had to do, obviously. And, and get Devontae at the time. But maybe he'll be maybe he'll be a future Eagle. Taekwon Thornton. And Devontae Wyatt. Last one here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Dallas would ever let him go, but... Like I said, it, the reason why the Eagles didn't take him, honestly, is because of their failed two years of drafting receiver that didn't work out, right? One year you get Ortega Whiteside, one year you get Rager. I, I just think they just couldn't pass up on, a, on like, Devontae on the board. And they needed more of a playmaker receiver than they needed a linebacker, they felt like. So, I can see why they passed up on him. But imagine if they didn't fail on, let's say, one of those guys. Maybe they get Justin Jefferson. Maybe they get DK Metcalf. Then maybe they get to draft Micah Parsons. But now I guess it doesn't matter, right? They got Devontae. This year they traded for A.J. Brown. So it's like the two mistakes just got erased already. But... It's just whole crazy, right? How some draft picks can turn out to be total the opposite of what you think. All right, so two sta uh, two glass entrance here, guys. Pretty solid. Then no kaboom or explosive, but we got two glass entrance, so I'll take that. And uh, good names in here, guys. We did get a Malik Willis. Got a couple golds out of 10. One on one printing plate. Christian Kirk there. All right, the Michael Parkinson 10. I'm going to take a picture of that. Sam Howell. I don't think so either, though, Justin. That's one thing I said. I, I said that back when he was producing, even before this year, when they were like, oh, man, Eagles fucked up. But I'm like, dude, honestly, Eagles' offense doesn't revolve around one receiver. Goddard is a weapon. They had Devontae, A.J. Brown. I mean, it's totally different. They, they're they not a one receiver, one type of team. They, they revolve around a couple players. Same thing as their running backs. All right, guys, so there you go. So I'm going to randomize the 400 points, and we'll see who that goes to. Roll it. Three and a five, eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times. Chad. There you go, Chad. You're going to get that 400 points. Yeah. I'm happy that we also got to ship you off Rager. <laughs> For a third rounder, we turned into... Uh, we turned we turned into Robert uh, Quinn, even though he hasn't really played much and has been a little injured. Howie is just such a goat GM, honestly. He's the only GM I know that can turn Sam Bradford into a first round pick, turn Carson Wentz into a first round pick, and how funny is that the he traded Sam Bradford to the Vikings for a first round pick. <laughs> oh Vikings. Alrighty guys, next Absolute 5 and 6 are in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com.